Hi, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. We are in Broom Tower and we have just gotten to the kind of center point. I didn't show this, but that's locked. And we are going to. Um, I'm going to throw some stuff away actually. that I should have done off camera. Okay. So, let's continue into the depths and see what we can do here. This is one of those areas where there's more items than I'm gonna get. I wonder if there's someone streaming right now. So yeah, you can, uh... Set this down and... You can... <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. They should just make it an insta-kill. I guess you could wear a flame quartz ring and stuff. Great way to start the episode off, though. Um, but yeah, I like this part of the level where you can kind of manipulate those to, you know, do your bidding, I guess. Oh, what? Not sure what's going on here. All right. Well, now I'm actually in an uncomfortable position here because. Oh, come on. Oh, I knew that was coming, and I just didn't do anything. Every time they disappear, they appear right behind you and do a stabbing. It's like a predictable... So... There are some places here where you need to break the wall in order, you know, and it's, it's kind of... Oh, I suppose I should, uh, I think this is an openable, yeah. I don't really know the point of this area because, like, I think they're, like, they're attempting to be, like, shortcuts, but I mean, they're all so close to each other, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's a way to, like, funnel people. do that when they disappear. Is this killing any of you? Really? St oh. <laughs> like, if I hadn't committed to this, this is definitely a weapon that I, uh, I don't love. Just pick, I mean, it, it's a weapon that I feel like you know. I guess you could you can master it and then you'd be good. So yeah, you can see that that's crumbly there. That's part of the thing. And then there's also, I think there's a. Yeah, so you're gonna. I might try to do that too. 
Um, I guess let me do it now. Just take one guy at first. Okay. Sorry if you can hear my cat bit for the last two episodes, by the way. Um, you know. Cats will be cats. Okay, so... Trying to get this guy to go here. So that I can just do this. Oh my god. Don't, 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 don't. 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 Oh my god. Go here. Will this suffice? Okay, good. Okay. I think these are just upgrade materials, but I just, I mean, there's a lot ton of them. Can I do it with you guys? Was this easy? To. to. Do this. Why aren't you going? Okay. 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 Come on. Yes. Alright. Get out of here. I guess, um, oh yeah, Katarina stuff. These gauntlets appear rather absurd, but the oh, it's the same. Okay. So, Design of this guy that he like he drops um, lava from the opposite shoulder that he's holding his thing. Again, like, I don't know, I mean, this kind of provides a shortcut here by going straight through, but it's like, I don't know, they were all just for the same. Like, I feel like it would be very similar to just run around. I don't think there's anything, okay. And then, after you do that, like, unless you just don't do anything or you fall off a cliff, then you just open up this shortcut, which is the actual shortcut that matters. Like, you actually skip that whole room. You can just go straight down here. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, an attempt to design an area as it would have been used by the, the king or whatever, but, like, during the time of, you know, when this was inhabited. Oh yeah, that area. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, we're finally going to go to that tower that has the uh, the flame spewing out of it for some reason. I think I'm going to attempt to kill these guys. Try my best. To... What oh, did I actually kick him away? 
Oh wow, he jumps farther than I thought. And then I remember. Yeah, I'm just nervous because I there's a um, these guys. Well, a they can explode and stuff. Um, but also there's a uh, there's actually an invader down here who's kind of tough. And so. I just, yeah, and then there's these fast ones. Or. There we go. Oh, I guess they do damage, that's good. But then, yeah, these guys are on fire, and I should have guessed that that was happening, because I just said how far they died. Then they become fast. Oh. Okay, maybe these guys aren't that bad. Um. They lose their flame? Wasn't this guy just on, on fire? I didn't think they were lost. But I do like that they they light these sconces when they explode. Thought there was a hidden wall there. But yeah, but I'm just I'm hoping I won't die to this invader here. I think I can parry her though, pretty easily. Yeah, she's powerful. She's got a slow draw on that. But I like this too because it's just like a clean battle. Oh god, though. I'm gonna die. Okay. Alright. predicted that uh it's gonna try to break your guard. Ooh that about killed me. I forgot that, you know, because when I play a lot of these areas, you know, since the first time, like, I don't, like, spend time and clear them all out and stuff. So, like, it's definitely, um, I keep forgetting that, you know, if you just play it and don't, like, try to rush through it, it's a little bit easier. Um, we will need this again. I guess we'll just do this. the way to go. Okay. This is not too bad. these guys and whatever. I mean, again, it's one of those things where recollection twinkling 
Hex created by the Children of Dark. Fire multiple dark orbs that seek their target. Hexes that grant a fleeting volition to dark have existed from ancient times, and it appears that the Children of Dark have some recollection of the creator of these spells. Interesting. Um... It's just a bunch of red herrings or whatever. There's only one door that gets you anywhere or gets whatever. Okay. And this is an area that I don't like. I don't know how to do this one without just rushing through it, but maybe that's just me. Maybe you can kill these guys beforehand. Maybe that's the whole idea. Ugh. So there's this kind of flaming lava scepter thing. Scorching iron scepter. Revives broom tower. A scorching hot iron scepter used to activate contraptions by transferring heat to broom tower. When the old iron king wrested this dilapidated region from the kingdom of Ven, The act required all the resources the enfeebled lord could muster, but the discovery of this iron-producing miracle, he was reborn as a powerful leader. So I guess Ven used to include the area of the Iron Keep, and that he basically like takes that for as his own. At some point, it's not being like it's easily conquerable. Okay. Forgot that we've been kind of doing this all in one go. And there's a guy that comes up on this. And I think maybe he's just like down maybe. Um I don't know, I guess all of this is like encouraging you to not take it fast. Cause I, I do have, st I struggle with these parts, but I forget that like, just do it slowly and you'll be fine. I'm patient. And then we're here, back here. Okay. So now, let's see what this scepter does. Guess we could just essentially homeward bone, but. Um. I guess there was one thing I didn't really do in this hub 
area here, but you can uh, uh, you can go up to this thing and it'll say nothing happens or whatever. But this is looks like that thing that the Iron Scepter was in, so we pl place it in, and then we can see here then that Broom Tower starts coming to life. And things start changing and moving and now this is a whole nother game whole nother level it's another example of something they did that's really great so I'm actually gonna go back to the top I'm gonna get that item and then we're just gonna go down naturally but this time we're gonna have all the parts move oh actually yeah that's right you can't get that uh-huh so I guess we'll just have to do this anyway. I still wanted to go back to the top, so it's not that big of a deal. All right. We did it at the perfect time. Baneful Bird Ring. Never get this one in my playthroughs. I actually don't know what this is at all. Um, reduce the stamina loss when blocking with shield. Weird. Uh, Ring of Rain, the traitor, reduces stamina loss. Rain was an agile swordsman who served King Vendrick, but after resigning from his post, he reconsidered his way of life and was born again as a stalwart warrior. Now, we heard about Rain before. I don't know if we got his name before. You know, it's been a while since I played this, and, and I don't remember what we talked about, but Rain is Vendrick, er, Velstat's brother. Twin brother, I believe. Um, but yeah. Where does this go down to? Okay, that's just a shortcut, that's nice. Okay. I like how they can break the ash as well. Is now moving. So there's nothing on this side. Just didn't want to miss anything. I guess we don't have to go through the whole thing a second time. I feel like this is something, but maybe not. Is he just literally just standing here? Like, does something come up here? Like, what does this do here? No, no, he goes up to there. But we do want to get access to that. Um, maybe I could have just gone to the other bonfire instead of running through here. Why is this closed? <laughs> I don't know why, what I thought was going to happen there. Okay. 
suppose this would have been the ideal way to go through this area the first time. Instead of trying to parry, but I mean, come on, I'm just trying to have fun. Uh, and that's still not open. Oops. I suppose we should rest here. And... Okay, I think this is the first area that matters. Is that going? Oh yeah, it does go a couple places. Let's go down. Oh, you can get there. Let's try that first. Pilgrim Spontoon. Spontoon used by warriors on pilgrimage, rather worn from the long journey it has doubtless seen. A spear, which also doubles as a catalyst for sorceries, making it ideal choice for light-footed pilgrims. Huh. Um. Let's see if I can make this. Okay. And we can make it to the other side, but I want to do this one first. I guess that's how you get those things, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh gosh. Sure glad I got that for no reason. Okay, so this is a shortcut. Simpleton's ring. That's the one that gives you intelligence. I thought we already read this. Maybe it's an item that you can buy from someone, but... Ring depicting a simpleton's flower. Where it becomes invisible while rolling. Okay, this, I'm just thinking of something else. A simpleton's spice, I guess. This ring was worn by the soldiers of the old Iron King, said to be blessed with divine protection. This ring only does one thing, but with ingenuity it can be fearsomely effective. Yeah, I love this ring. I, I specifically love it in um, Dark Souls 3, and that's a ring of Karthus, which is a land that is similar to Hugo. So I don't know if that means this is Hugo or not. I guess I should put this on my bar just because, you know, I'm going to do it from time to time. I feel like this is a lot longer than the first DLC, and this, you know, the third DLC is also... Okay, so that's just that. I don't even care about that. Okay. So now, what we want to do is go here and go across. Okay. So yes. This guy is getting healed. Oh, 
That's a lot of souls. Okay, so... I wonder if I should take care of that thing first. Thanks for moving out of my way. Alright, so now he'll be quite easier to beat. Oh, guess I ran out of stamina there. Okay. Oh, that hit me. Oops. That definitely hit me. Oh my gosh, why didn't that hit me? I didn't die there, because I thought maybe I was going to. Life ring plus three, nice. Useful stuff, all useful stuff. I've already kind of leveled up a lot of stuff, but it'd be nice if I wanted to use this build as a PvP or something. Gosh. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Okay. Good with that. Now... I want to go over to the other elevator, like this, before we head down. Okay. Oh, is there something here too? Is this something that gets me to and from? Yes. In fact, let me do that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend these souls while I'm thinking about it. Like there's no sense in like running around with 100,000 souls. So... I'll just take a little break.
Okay. Let's we'll go down here. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do first. Like this, these, the two bosses that I will play in this DLC. Ooh. I want to go there too. Oops. Thought it was like a roll situation, but maybe not. I mean, you know, if I die, I die. But... Um, the two bosses that I'm going to play in this DLC. Are, are difficult. I can do um, I can do one pretty consistently. The other one I don't fight all the time because he has a hard run up to him, so I don't play him every time I play. Okay, that's that area. So that's just a place to get bright bugs. I mean, come on. Speaking of the boss, I love how you can just see all the way down to the boss. Oh, whatever, I'm just going to leave those souls. I don't care about those souls. That was a small amount of souls. The things that go up and down have the like old those knights that we found at Dragon Shrine and I mean it looks kind of like that. I'm not really sure what they're for. Yeah. I'm cool with those. So this is kind of an annoying thing. I wonder if they fix this. So in the oh, I need a key. Yeah, I can't get into this area, but I can't go into that area, which I think is actually my goal of doing all this stuff before I go and like you know beat the bosses because I'm just trying to get all the smelter wedges. Well, I guess I didn't necessarily know that that was... I think there's a secret room in here, too. One of these here that has either a secret room or like a way that you can blast through it. I don't remember. Oh yeah, there it is. Can like a black firebomb just take care of this or not? Spelling ring. 
says plus one, so I assume we've seen that before, but... Yeah. Oh, it's the speckled stone plate. Okay. Oh, I don't have that. Oh, that guy died. Cool that that killed them all right away. Makes that area a lot easier. Get out of here. And then I believe these are the other smelter wedges. Okay. I do believe that's all we need. The six and the four, so I guess there's ten. And oh, we'll come back for that later. Okay, so I guess the only other thing for us to do now, what time is it? Okay, is go down before we get other stuff. And I guess I'll rest here. Well, that's the Sanier spear before it's broken. Okay. Let's see what's down in the depths here. Locked. I think that's the only way to go. Let me. Oh, there's an area over here. What is this? Oh, is this the way to get the key? Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean, can I only do one of these at a time? Again, yet another thing where I'm like, I just go through this slow. These parts that suck don't suck. I usually just rush this. So. I believe there's only two of these guys. Oh, they don't have a head. It's interesting. Geez, always good. Twinklin. I mean, I don't know why all these late, you know, they have all these late game items, but okay, there's a third. That's fine, though. Oops. Oh, he's got a mace. That's a mace and a half. hit him the once I didn't get a spin because he got me in the middle. I thought I would just be able to spam that. Okay. I guess it's nice to be able to do this slower. Like, get all the items. Alright. Chunks. And, of course, what we came for, the tower key. Oops. 
key that opens the door to Groom Tower. Long ago, the tower used to, pr used to produce a seemingly endless supply of iron. The king used it to create iron soldiers in an iron castle. Legend has it he even tried his hand at forging a dragon out of iron. Everyone's fascinated with dragons, man, in this game. I think they're the secret to everything. Okay. So let's see if we can get to the next bonfire and then do another. That key that we got opens a lot of things. Um, so we'll definitely be going back and doing stuff, but... Strength ring, same as the dexterity ring. Um, I guess that would be down here. Oh, uh, yeah, so... Same as the dex description. Okay, good. We can kill these guys in one hit, so... This part can be a bit of a grind, and... But if you can take these guys out in one hit... Um, pretty much. Then that just simplifies this process. Can, like fall through all these layers making it better to just go like this okay partisan plus six okay and this guy I don't believe he can actually hit us ever maybe I'm wrong so if we just take him out, then this becomes a piece of cake. I love this weapon, it's like the most ostentatious thing ever. do this once. <laughs> oh my goodness. That guy didn't die. an Adalia around because these guys are in a weird color. So let me just grab this. Hopefully I don't get slaughtered here. Sorcery clutch ring. Another one of the clutches. Don't think we need to read it. But let's just get through here. I think we'll be fine. Okay, good. There's the, oh, it looks like the helmet of one of those big guys or something, and it fell here. Um, so.
So yeah, these uh, if you do this without going the other pathway, you won't get enough smelter wedges to use them on here. I think you have like one short. So can we see inside? Oh, so we can see the fume sword right there, but there's no boss. That's cool. I guess he rises up. Okay. So yeah, these uh, these things heal him. So I mean, I don't you don't really need it, but if you can get rid of all these, I mean, it certainly makes the fight a little bit more manageable. I mean, it's not like it's really an issue if you get three of them four. You just can keep them away. drops uh, some armor or something. That would be cool. Or his weapon. <laughs> or a, a Titanite slab. Alright, so what we're gonna do here, I guess the one thing I want to check here is so we have nine. I, I think there's quite a few more Maybe there's only the one more, and maybe you get you, there's one more after the boss or something, or maybe there's one, maybe the one right before Alon is one or something. But anyway, we'll read that next time. I'm just going to call it quits here, and then I'll do the bosses in the next episode. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.